The atmosphere in Munich's Marienplatz is cold and bitter, but that has nothing to do with the weather. Stall owners have been busy breaking down their wooden huts, which were only set up a few days back after the city of Munich gave the final go-ahead for Christmas markets. On Monday, it was said you were allowed to set up. And in the end, the result is that we have to dismantle now, and we have to bear all the costs. For example, the electrician, the commercial, and so on. Nobody pays us the costs. But on Tuesday, after careful review of the pressure on hospitals, Munich Mayor Dieter Reiter retracted that go-ahead, cancelling the city's main public Christmas markets for the second year in a row, saying anything else would be an irresponsible increase in the risk of infections and, moreover, the wrong signal. While many understand the reasoning, stall owners argue that the decision should have been made much earlier. Yes, I definitely understand. There is friction. In the hospitals, they are working and working, and here, pleasure is taking place, and that makes it a difficult situation. But the cancellation should have come a little earlier. However, private Christmas markets that can uphold the checks required to ensure that everyone is either vaccinated or newly recovered from COVID-19 will be allowed to open. But Munich's Chris Kindmart here in Marienplatz, which brings in the city some of the highest revenues at this time of year due to its popularity, will be absent of that Christmas spirit again this year. Munich's renowned Christmas markets normally draw in some three million local and foreign visitors who come to savor mulled wine and nibble on roasted chestnuts while shopping for seasonal trinkets among clusters of wooden chalets. If you only look at the Munich Christmas markets, all 30, then they are worth around 290 million euros. But without the Christmas markets, we will see a significant drop in visitors and, of course, less buying behavior in the other shops. Yet Germany's southern state of Bavaria has been grappling with record COVID-19 infection numbers, almost double the nationwide incident rate of 312.4, which has led to a tightening of public activity, particularly for the unvaccinated. Restaurants, cultural events and even public transport are subject to Germany's 3G rule, where one must be vaccinated, recovered or have a negative COVID test to take part. Bavaria has gone one step further by implementing 2G regulations, meaning a negative test is no longer sufficient in many places. While private, albeit much smaller, Christmas markets will be allowed to open as planned on Monday, the precedent to close the public markets could convince other German cities to do the same.